In this video I'm doing a review of the Little More Daily Planner. You can get a dated version or an undated. I chose the undated. Um, there weren't really many cover options to choose from, just black, a pastel pink or this like turquoise colour. So I chose the turquoise colour. It is quite nice, um, but it's a bit plain. There's really just little more on the cover and that's it. It is that fake uh, leather material which is quite bendy as you can see. At least the corners um, are rounded so it shouldn't get too damaged. It is about, I'd say, maybe 0.75 not quite, um, inches thick. Now it won't last a full year, so it has 12 monthly overview like planning pages and then a bunch of daily pages. So it said all up that there was 328 pages, but I'm assuming that includes the monthly. So either way, it won't quite last a whole year if you wanted to use it um, every single day, but maybe they're counting on the fact that you probably won't need a super detailed planned out um, day to a page plan if you go on holidays or if you're taking a day off or something like that. So at the front here we have the contact information section, which I think is kind of pointless. I wouldn't really use this. Um, I keep my planners at home and don't take them out with me. So again, it's kind of like personal preference, but it's there if you want it. You could always just turn that into um, some note space if you want. Um, there's no pocket folder on the front cover and there's none on the back cover either. So this planner is very much um, basics only. I think you might need to have another uh, notebook with you as well where you maybe jot down like lists and notes etc because there is no notes pages in this planner at all. It's just the monthly and the daily pages. So they've given you um, a little example of how to use the monthly pages. So we have monthly goals, then we have the action steps and then the monthly review. So I think it's a bit too um, condensed for me. I don't think I need as much space up here in the monthly goals, probably only that much, and then more space for the action steps. So I might reverse that around um, if I end up trying this planner. And then the monthly review section as well. I think the whole this whole thing could have been stretched out into two pages and it would have given you much more room to write, um, especially since there's no um, notes pages, like I said before. So then we have the daily pages. Their example here, you just add the date and tick whatever day it is, there's the top three, which I really like, and then the open-ended schedule where you can put whatever times that you need, so if you want something that starts on the hour or the half hour, you can choose. I'm actually intending to use this for like a weekly um, overview um, page, so I have my top three and then all the to-dos, and then I can use an actual planner, like a you know two-page dated or undated weekly planner, um, and maybe use this in conjunction for like a brain dump book. But it's, it's definitely intended for a daily um, planner if you obviously want to use it how it was planned to be used. So at the front here, we have all of the monthly overview pages clustered together. And now it's 80 GSM paper and it says on their website that it's fountain pen friendly. But I really don't believe that because you can see all this ghosting here from just their printing um, of the previous page. So I really don't think fountain pens are not going to bleed through. And I actually think gel pens, ballpoint, probably fine tip, probably all of them will bleed through because there's a lot of ghosting. And the pages do feel quite thin, a lot thinner than most other planners, to be honest. I don't think AEGSM um, is really thick enough to withstand bleeding against anything really. But at least they're bright white, so that is pro. There is um, all those monthly pages, and then we go into the daily. Um, the pages are pretty much laying flat on their own. If you turn the notebook over and break the spine, I'm sure they'd lay flat um, even better, but I mean, I just did it with my hand then and it's holding up pretty well. So we have those little boxes where you can tick what day of the week. Then there's that top three, the schedule. The line spacing is a little smaller than most planners. I'd say this one's about five mil from here to here. And most planners seem to be about six to seven mil. So it is a little smaller. If I haven't already mentioned the page size, it is A5. So it is a portable page size, so I kind of do expect that the proportions of some things would shrink um, a little bit. So we've just got all of those daily pages. There is only one uh, ribbon bookmark, so I definitely think they could have done two. So you could have one for your monthly and then one for your daily. Um, colour matches the cover, quite pretty colour. At the back, um, like I mentioned, there is no notes pages at all, which to me feels a little stingy. They could have put in at least a couple. Um, and there's not even a pocket folder at the back either, so this is very much only the things that you need, like only the essential pages. I don't really like that binding at the back there, how it's like glued in really close. Uh, anyway, so my thoughts. I'm not terribly impressed with this plan, as you can probably already tell. I think it had potential. I think the daily layout is very functional and really good if you don't want just a you know pre-timed um, section. But there isn't really much else to the planner and 
I'm just not terribly excited by it. There's no extra pages. It's just very basic and the paper's not that thick. So I don't think I would get this planner um, again. So if you're looking for a daily planner that's undated, you can stop and start whenever you want. Maybe you want to convert it into like a weekly overview planner, brain dump book like I am, then maybe it would be all right. But otherwise, I think there's plenty of other daily planners that are better. I'll include some um, links to my reviews down below for some other daily planners that I do recommend. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. I usually post a uh, planner review video each week.